and welcome to our gray house vlogs good morning it's morning for me maybe it's not for you but good morning or good evening or good afternoon or good middle of the night whenever you're watching this maybe you're binge watching this because by the time you watch it maybe i'm famous and you're like i've got to watch all the episodes of our gray house vlogs before i can continue with life perhaps not i'm loading up as you can see I take two tote bags to work plus my laptop bag. And here's why. In one tote bag, I have my calendar, my notebook that I just write down my notes in and stuff like that and things to do and reminders and such. I have hmm, my journal and that kind of, I just have a few things like that. And the book that I'm currently reading and stuff like that. And then in my other tote bag, which is heavy, are all the things that I go through that I've made pile. So let me back up. I'm a pile maker. So what that means is when I have stuff that I need to go through to decide what to do with, I put it in a pile. And then I think I'll go through it later. And then later never comes. <laughs> so. <sighs> it's kind of a problem, but um, I'm a pile maker. I don't know if you're a pile maker. I'm a pile maker. There's there's probably a club, Pile Makers Anonymous or something, but that's what I am and that's what I do. So I'm trying to not do that. So when I get in paper or something, I try to do whatever I'm going to do with it right then. Like go ahead and put it away. Go ahead and file it away. Go ahead and just get it you know, not in my tote bag <laughs> or in a pile. So um, I'm working my way through it and there are things like I need to write thank you cards that are in there and there's like, yeah, just stuff, just miscellaneous stuff that I need to do. So I'm trying to get it all caught up and taken care of. I don't have like a day, like I need to caught up by Sunday. No, I'm just saying, I'm just going through it. But in the meantime, I'm carrying these two tote bags and wow this is riveting content isn't it but anyway that's what i'm doing and that's why i got two tote bags for no reason so i'm trying to get it down to where i'm back down to one tote bag and ideally it'd be like a very small tote bag just like with my calendar and my notebook or you know and a pencil or something like that so anyway blah 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 i'm rambling again but leave me a comment if you do the same let me know i'm not alone let's go to target now though and get some shopping done I may also need to stop by the um, storage unit. Bump. Whoa! Crazy. Uh, because that's where the um, wrapping paper is. Depending on how big whatever I'm getting is, I don't necessarily want to buy another bag because I just, I don't, I mean... I have wrapping paper at the storage unit, but we'll see because uh, the wrapping paper is not here. That will take me extra time and yeah, so we'll see. I am at Target. It's actually a super Target, so I'm super excited. I'm clearly in a section of the store that's not toys, so I'm going to just focus and go. Clearly still not in the my section also I just tried on these shoes and if you saw my Instagram stories I literally couldn't get it on my foot so that beat problems yeah it still have not left the store even though I have already heard picked out the perfectly cute just like mommy diaper bag and because I still had money left over in the budget there the perfectly cute snack time set so now, just going over here in the home decor area. I know, I know, but I'm just like looking to see if they have a like glass pitcher for like water and um, an ice bucket, just to kind of see how much they cost. That's it. That's the only. I'm just seeing how much they cost. But okay, this this is for salt. But look, like it's got like a little spoon. <laughs> I mean, you know. This is cute. I found some pictures, but they are plastic. And 
I just feel like sometimes plastic gets like scratched up. Maybe I'm because I'm, I don't know, but I just <laughs> kind of wanted a glass one, but of course glass can break. Oh, what do I see? Some glass pictures. Also like beverage server, I'm sorry, beverage. Well, this one says pitcher. So um, they also have these nice, like you could put lemonade or tea in, sangria. I like this one. Except it's got like um, indentions, so it's not, I would have liked it better if it was just like a smooth shape. Talking myself out of that one. This one kind of resembles like a uh, mason jar-ish kind of thing, but and of course the carafe is pretty too. That's more what I'm thinking of, but I want a clear one, not, I want one you can see inside. I don't know, I just want to be able to see what's inside of it. Even though like I know what's going to be inside of it because I put it there, but I still kind of wanted a clear one. All right, target run done. I did not buy anything extra, so I'm super proud of myself. Now I'm going to get a hot chocolate and go to work. I did not buy anything extra because I'm extra enough. No, I'm not, I don't think I'm extra. Maybe I am. Hey y'all and welcome to Hot Chocolate Chat. Today I'm drinking a hot chocolate from Starbucks and I want to know, can you shop without buying extra? Meaning like I just went to Target, Target if you're fancy, and I bought what I went for and nothing else. And I had time. I was, I was walking up and down the aisles. I had time. So it wasn't like, oh, I only have five seconds. I perused the aisles just a little bit, even though honestly, I did not want to buy anything else, but if something accidentally fell in my cart, so can you do that? Now, I'm trying to think. Like, I didn't really find anything I couldn't, I didn't, I'm trying to be transparent. I was trying to think was there's like something like that I've, I mean, I went by the dollar spot and I didn't take anything from there. And one reason I didn't come home with any shoes is because my fat feet couldn't fit in them. So, so I guess caveat was, wasn't on sale or like cheap enough. No, that's not true. Cause there was a candle that was cheap. I just stuck to my guns. I went in. I, I looked around, but I bought the birthday present for Ellie, and then I left. And what is going on with my winged eyeliner? Oh, it's, out. Whew, it's out of control. Okay, so back to the topic. Can you go to a store that you really like and just buy what you went for? Or do you find that you always buy like, oh, but that shirt's only eight eighty eight. That plant stand for the plants that I kill, it's, it's on clearance. So yeah. That's kind of what I want to know. Can you like, like, I'm not gonna buy anything else, or do you do you buy other stuff? And truth, truthful, truthfully, that is my issue with Walmart because while it may be less expensive or cheaper or whatever, you end up putting more stuff in your cart than you went for. I got other issues with Walmart, but that's a story for another day. Well, family, what have y'all been up to all day long? I am about to head home. It's been a great day, actually. I got some things done, not everything that I was hoping for, but I got enough things done where I felt like I got some things done, if that makes sense. I don't know if it does or doesn't, but it makes sense to me. But so now I'm heading home. I don't know what I'm doing for supper. <sighs> I don't have any of those every plates left because I didn't get my order this week. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and get a shipment next week on Wednesday. So then I have some things to make for the next few days or whatever. And I have chicken in the, in the freezer. I've got pork chops in the freezer so I can definitely make something. And I've got butter. Remember I had all that butter. I never gave it to anybody else. So I still have all that butter in my fridge. So we could probably pan fry or bake some pork chops and butter. Mm, that would be good actually. I might do that. Marvin is already home, so I'm gonna head that way now. I'm gonna give him a buzz and say, hey babe, I'm on my way. I literally live like three minutes away, so it's not like that long to get home. But in fact, I think I'm gonna time it how long it takes me to get home. Cause that might be fun just to know. Anyway, all right, 
I will, I'll check in with you guys later. Hey y'all, it's 11.20 and I'm up editing videos. I've already posted two videos today. So that's awesome. And I'm about to post a third. Well, I'm getting a third ready. It'll post in the morning because I'm going to go to bed as soon as I'm done editing it. And I just have a few more minutes left of editing and then I'm going to go to bed. But, um, I've gotten through a lot of things tonight, so I'm happy. Um, you can't really tell, but the, um, tote bag, it's shrunk in size just a little bit, just enough to make me feel like, yes, I got some stuff done. Tomorrow, Marvin is going to go, they're having Tango Tab. We used to do that, remember? Volunteer to make sandwiches and stuff. So they're doing that tomorrow, but it's at a different place. And so Marvin is gonna go help with that, or at least pick up the sandwiches and take them back to Sharing Life. I'm gonna go to Ellie's birthday party. And that's over at Firewheel, which I was just at the other day, remember? For that class, and then I picked up the soup from um, Fish City Grill. That was delish. Marvin just ate the uh, other bowl of soup that I brought home that night um, tonight for dinner. Anyway, I'm not getting more soup unless he wants me to. But um, I'm fixing to go to bed. And after I finish editing this video, not much else has happened. Sarah did call me and tell me about this incident that happened where, like, this lady was like yelling at her, like, I'm gonna beat you up. And it's like, anyway, she's safe. Don't worry, she's safe. But it was just kind of funny. She was calling and sharing with me. And um, what else? I think, oh, I got to get my dad's. Um, oh, you know what? I'm getting Marvin for Father's Day. I'm getting him a stud, like a, like a more expensive stud finder. Not just the little cheapy one. Because we're going to be putting stuff up in the garage. And we don't want to be like knocking a lot of holes into the walls. So anyway, I want to get him like a nice one. So that we can just, you know. Just that I want to get him a nice one for Father's Day. So that's what I'm going to do. He already knows it. It's not a surprise. But I don't remember if he said he wanted me to like help him pick it out. Or did me just go and like, hey, what's a good one? You know, that kind of thing, which is what I would normally do. And then for my dad, I think I'm going to get him a gift card to, I just don't know, like either like Lowe's or Home Depot, um, Sears or Maggiano's. So my sister's doing Maggiano's. Which is, I think, also Chili's and on the border or something, she said. Anyway, whatever. It doesn't matter. But um, I can't decide if I want to do that because if they went to Maggiano's, Maggiano's is kind of expensive and they would, two gift cards would be good. But, um, and then, you know, but my dad likes to tinker and do woodworking stuff. So Lowe's or Home Depot would work. He likes shopping at Sears, so Sears would work too. So I don't know. I, but when I go to the store tomorrow to get all the Father's Day cards, I'll figure that out too. But that's all I really have planned for the weekend. Besides catching up on this stuff and just kind of planning out my week. Because um, for some reason it just seems like there's a lot of events coming up. There's a lot of meetings coming up. So I've got to make sure everything's on all the calendars. I keep an analog calendar, just a handwritten one. And then I also keep the calendar, the I calendar that um, I share with Marvin, except for the work stuff's not shared because he doesn't need to know all of that. I mean, that would just clutter up his calendar. Anyway, again, rambling, but, um, so I'm just gonna make sure all the calendars are synced and everything has everything on it so that if I'm looking at one or the other, I know that I have all the info written down. Okay, that's it. That's all I got for you tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching. I personally, like, I know, I mean, I hope people enjoy watching my videos, but I like making my videos and I like looking back and seeing just how my life is progressing. So it's been really kind of fun and I hope you're enjoying it too. So um, don't forget guys, be kind to others and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.